Hey guys, nice quick one today I think. So just mucking around with uh, frames and ACSS again. Uh, and what I want is this testimonial slider here, which is a frame. I want my previous and next arrows to be up underneath this testimonial header uh, and just sort of aligned with the top of the card. Now in Bricks Builder, the, uh, there is a standard slider and that's this nestable slider here which is what uh, frames is using so if we look at the frames uh, slider over on the right hand side in the structure point at that it's using the nestable slider and then they're just styling it up with the frame styles by default your arrows are down the bottom left here uh, but I wanted them up the top here under testimonials um, so it's kind of more obvious to me that because I'm going full screen um, to go left to right, I don't have to go all the way down to the bottom here. Um, so I thought I'd put them up here. So to do that, what we do is go to the slider Bravo uh, element in the structure panel. Uh, have a look at our, make sure we get our slider Bravo class selected. Go to our style and then CSS. What I'm going to do is override a couple of things here. So I'm going to firstly just uncomment this CSS, which I'll put in the description. And what I'm doing, whenever I add or edit any CSS uh, that comes from someone else, so in this case frames, I normally put a comment block here, which might be a bit hard to see uh, because it makes it very dark gray in bricks. Um, and just put my initial there, AB, which means I've added this bit. Okay, and down here, I'm going to do the same with uh, overriding this uh, position here okay and those two there and now I'll put my icons my um, previous and next buttons up here so what exactly is it doing so by default what the bricks nestable slider does is each of these buttons is set to a position of absolute and then when you look at the uh, the settings for that in the arrows you can set your top right bottom and left by default position absolute so then you've got to put that inside of a relative mm. container so it knows what it's absolute to and then you can position these things um, that way um, doesn't work for me in this case because I want this centered at the top there so what I've done is in the CSS I've told it that I want the uh, position of those arrows splide arrows to be static so I don't want them to be using the CSS positioning of absolute, uh, make them static. And then up here, I add another class here, which is uh, the splide arrows, which is the parent container for these. Now I found that I had to put the dot custom in there because of the bricks overriding splide. And I'll show you what I mean by that. If I take the custom out, it, does, it works in the editor. Save that and have a look in the front end it doesn't work properly and the reason for that is when you're in the editor the code that you're writing in the editor so for example here code you're writing in the editor is actually getting rendered as you write it so this is the last thing being rendered when you're in the front end it's whichever order it's actually loaded in so it can be different in the editor than it is uh, in the front end so if we look at this here and we look at our splite arrows See, it's got the custom class there. So we've got splite arrows, and then we've got custom. In bricks, we've got a, in the splide uh, CSS, um, they're setting display block important, okay? But we want to override that with display flex. So the class that I've created in bricks here isn't as specific enough because, because they're loaded in the same, in a sorry, because this, uh, custom is loaded after this class here. They kind of have similar specificity. So the original one from Bricks overrides it. So all we need to do is add this custom to that and that will make it more specific. So let's have a look at that. So if I'll go back to uh, da -da -da, dot custom, add the custom to make it more specific and then have a look in the front end. See, now it works. If I look at my splite arrows there, I've now got the class that I created, the splite arrows.custom, um, which is overriding the 
bricks, uh, minified CSS because it's more specific. So that's the that's the trick there is you got to make sure. And I hate using these important keywords uh, because it does interfere with your natural order of CSS. Um, but when particularly when your framework or your build is used important, you need to make sure that yours is more specific if you're going to use the important keyword to override it. If I don't use that important keyword, it's going to use the bricks one because that is now more specific because it's got the important keyword. So hopefully that uh, is uh, useful to you. If you like this kind of thing, hit the subscribe and hit the like.